Now, as you probably already know, File Transfer Protocol, or FTP, is used for the transfer of files between a client and a server using port 21. Poorly configured FTP servers can be a good foothold. So, you can run some MSF modules to enumerate FTP servers and gain some important information such as software version, banner info, and all that. Aside from this, the FTP servers authenticate users with a clear text sign-in mechanism. Moreover, it can sometimes allow anonymous login. So why don't we enumerate an FTP service? So let's have a look and see which hosts have FTP services. All right, so both of them have. But sometimes administrators use different ports for the services. So let's try a search with the S parameter. And just like that, you can find all the FTP servers that DB Nmap command discovers. And yeah, as you see here, there's an FTP service running on port 2121. And then you'll get this list if you search for FTP auxiliaries. And I'll just use these ones here. Use auxiliary scanner FTP and FT version module. Show options. Nothing set. So let's run the module. And there's the results. Now you can do the same process for every FTP port, but here's an important point. If you get the version, look for vulnerabilities on the internet or somewhere else. So what I'll do is I'll copy and then search Google or whatever your favorite search engine is. And you see VS FTP has a vulnerability for this particular version. And even Metasploit has a module for this. So make a note of that because you will use it later. Oh, and by the way, this is a lab environment, remember, but the logic is 100% the same as in any real penetration testing. So I'll use another module, FTP login, showing options, and here are the file variables. So I'm going to allow blank passwords and username as password. And here I'll set user pass file to my FTP dictionary file. And I'll create this list from the same address that I did for my SQL. All right. Run the module. And I think you'll probably find one pair. So make a note of that too. Now, one more module. Some FTP modules allow for anonymous logins. So when you perform a vulnerability scan, you probably are going to get this finding. But you can quickly check to see if any of the discovered FTP services allows this. That's why this module is so handy. Show options. Okay, so I'll need to configure nothing, so I'll just run the module. And the result comes up pretty quickly. So yeah, you can connect this FTP service on Metasploitable 2 anonymously. So now that we got the hang of that, let's enumerate some other services.